I'm Jim Unzus, one of the assessors, and I've just picked out two sort of series, if you like, from one watercolour uh, submission, which I think there are some points that I would like you to sort of think about. If you look at these ones here, this group of four, but there's such a an openness and a freshness to them. You know, the watercolour is really being used and exploited. And the sort of image, in a way, if there is one there, because they're very atmospheric, it, it sort of looks after itself because what this particular student's been looking at has been rendered through them looking and then exploiting the material. Even this one here, where the, the student's taken it to another stage and really gone and explored this sort of the full nature of the, the fluidity of the medium, you know, with lots of uh, letting it run, let it drip, and then the seepage, and it, it starts to get a, an identity of its own. Another example we'll, we'll, we'll look at is a, a successful use of watercolour, this, this sort of moody landscape by the same student. But again, the watercolour has been utilised really quite openly. And again, it's very atmospheric. And if you look at the horizon line, that's nicely broke up, it's gone over. So the, the whole thing becomes one entity and you almost feel as though you're in, your la in the landscape. Now, in contrast, I'm going to take you to this particular student's assignment five. You see by just looking at them that they are very different. It's certainly how they look and how they feel. Now, the weakness for me in these is that they remain pictures. And that's really not quite the intent. You just feel when you look at these, you feel that that's what whoever's painted these is interested in. Not in really investigating where they are. Or the atmosphere that they've got. Look at this one, you know you've got semi-abstracted boats on a vaguely atmospheric lake. It doesn't actually engage with the subject enough. It's not to say that you can't make art out of boats, of course you can, but overall this, this student has not really played on the successes that they've made earlier on in the course, but they've reverted to a way of working that they maybe know and that maybe looks a bit more acceptable in inverted commas. Making art, of course that's what you're doing. Of course it is. But you do not need to have to overplay that to overtly make pretty paintings. You need to investigate your subject through the paint. Now, just to finish, we'll go back, and this is a lovely study. But you see from looking at it, there's some real investigation going on as to where things are, how things relate, the paint's being used openly, and there's a lovely combination with the drawing and there's a lovely light to it, and it's so real and unpretentious. There's a big difference here, and it's, it's very genuine investigation, and that's where you uh, need to be.